Today is my favorite shooting day ever. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> but I want to put my face in it right now. All right, everyone. Good morning and uh, Namaste ji. Today is uh, 12th May 2022 and uh, looking at the crowds in the evening in Manali, man, I feel uh, the tourism is back full power. And uh, lately, you know, there's one question that we are being asked repeatedly, which is, uh, where should we go out to eat, you know, different kinds of places we should hang out at. So today's video is going to be extremely vloggy, it's going to be snappy and uh, very information driven for once. And uh, in no particular order of preference, uh, we are going to be showing you a bunch of restaurants uh, in and around town and our favorite things to order over there. We are near the monastery in Manali at uh, the Tibetan art shop. This lady sets up a small food stall outside the shop selling one of the most addictive snacks available in all of Manali. Like Ronnie and I have to stop ourselves from coming here on an everyday basis. Basically what she's selling is something called laping, which is like a Tibetan cold noodle dish. Uh, and it just kind of hits all the right spots and satisfies you in all the perfect ways. Uh, spice levels go from zero to outer space, so um, I think figure out where you want to go. For us, it's medium spicy always. Uh, and you get like a dry version and a soupy version, both of which are equally unique and yummy. Mm. Ooh. So now we are at this other place called Raju Lama. It's a little hole in the wall that is very famous with the locals. They serve uh, Indian Chinese like style street food. Uh, basically it's run by a Nepali family and that's Mr. Raju firing up the walk behind me. And uh, it's really strange because uh, Ronnie and I don't get like noodle cravings or fried rice cravings but we do get Raju Lama cravings. The food is that good. Okay, so usually we order the chicken fried rice, uh, we order the chicken chow mein and we usually also go for the momos and if it's winter time we go for uh, like a nice mutton thukka which is also great out here. Uh, These are half portions by the way because we have a long day of eating ahead of us. You guys have to, have to, have to try this. It's gonna change your life. <laughs> It's a really favorite spot for most locals and tourists, Corner House. We've been here before, but we're gonna show you something extra yummy today. So this place is uh, owned by a friend of ours called Siddharth. Uh, he's a highly, highly trained chef. Uh, usually when we come here, Ronnie tends to order the teriyaki chicken sizzler and I go for the more uh, Asian stuff like the khao sui or the Vietnamese curry. Uh, but pretty much everything on his menu is so good like the burgers and the pasta and the continental chicken dishes. But what's our absolute favorite are the sweet and spicy chicken wings. Like no trip to Manali is complete without visiting Corner House and getting a taste of these wings guys. You have to come here. So this is uh, something new that he's gonna put on the menu. It's on a trial basis right now. Uh, these are barbecue pork ribs. And I gotta stop talking because I'm drooling way too much right now. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Today is my favorite shooting day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next on the list is Fat Plate Cafe. Uh, for those of you who watch our channel, definitely know Anubhav Gurung, my good friend and chef uh, who runs and owns this uh, beautiful restaurant out here. And they've got this whole wall uh, with tons of products, uh, like, you know, ranging from just chutneys and jams and like different kinds of oils, all Himalayan products that they make themselves. Uh, so you can pick those up. So for lunch, we're going to be digging into some scrumptious prawn curry made by our dear friend Anubhav. This is his own uh, concocted recipe with a mashup of like some South Indian flavors, some Goan flavors, but yeah, all in all, it's just yummy. Uh, yeah, generally, but if you do come to Fat Plate, we'd recommend trying out the barbecue pork ribs, the mustard chili fish, uh, that's the trout, and uh, the, what do you say, what is it called? The bacon wrapped chicken. All three are absolutely yummy. And to end your meal, he has some sublime homemade ice creams, which is what we're gonna dig into later. So Anubhav's mom's garden is definitely one of the most beautiful and well-kept gardens in all of Manali. You know, there's just so many flowers, doesn't matter which season you come in, even during winter you'll see flowers over here. But uh, yeah, it definitely takes some skill, you know, uh, to 
know, maintain such a garden and uh, I'm not much of a gardener. But uh, Bharti, as you guys know, she's been at it for a while now. So I've been taking this really interesting class on Skillshare by Ekta Chaudhary called Indo Gardening, Grow House Plants, Veggies and Herbs. It's an hour-long class in which she gets into the basics of growing different kinds of plants at home. And now you guys know that I've been dabbling in farming for the past few years, but it's always really insightful to understand the science behind what's happening and why it's happening. And this class offers all that and much more. And like all classes on Skillshare, it's ad-free, so that means there's no distractions and the classes get straight to the point so you end up receiving the maximum amount of information without wasting any time. Skillshare is an online learning community and a great space for like-minded creative people to come together. They offer thousands of classes by industry experts on topics such as film and video, graphic design, YouTubing, conversation skills and you can even learn how to pull off some hip-hop moves. When you join Skillshare, you get unlimited access to their entire library of classes for less than 1800 rupees annually, which is roughly about 150 rupees a month. I mean, their annual subscription is cheaper than all the meals combined that we're going to be eating today in this video. <laughs> so, there's a custom link placed in the description below, and the first 1000 people to use that custom link will get a free one month trial. Okay, let's go eat some more. So, at the beginning of summer, uh, you get a lot of fruits around Manali, and one of our favorite things to munch on. It's called kafle. I don't know what it's called in English, so if you do, put it in the comments below. Okay, so now we are at a place called Dana Cafe and uh, this is one of the good coffee shops uh, right in the middle of the market. Yeah, this is where we, Bharti and I, always come for like our meetings and stuff and I really like this outside area. They've got a nice indoor area as well, uh, but I personally like to come and sit on this balcony because you can really get a good view of the mall road and uh, the coffee is great. So they do a bunch of desserts out here as well, but my personal favourite is the pumpkin caramel cake. It is absolutely divine. Okay guys, so right behind me is uh, Chopsticks. It's one of... Okay, so that place was really, really bad for sound. Uh, okay, so where were we? Uh, Chopsticks. Chopsticks. So we have two restaurants, Chopsticks and Noodles. Uh, they've been there for like over 25, 30 years since I was a little kid. And uh, their menu is pretty much the same, uh, but uh, Chopsticks has like, you know, it's got that cozy mountain vibe, you know, really warm feeling inside. Uh, while uh, Noodles is has just been renovated and now like, you know, it's a very hipster kind of a vibe going on over there. The three things that I love eating over here, number one is a Shaphale, which is basically a mutton momo, like it's a huge momo, uh, deep fried. Uh, then secondly, it is a, a crispy chicken chili dry. Uh, and the third thing would be a chowmin with uh, crispy chicken on top. I know a lot of crispies. I love crispy fried food. Uh, yeah, they're located right in the main market and you cannot go wrong with them. So just about a hundred meters down from uh, Fat Plate is this beautiful restaurant called Pizza Olive. Man, this entire building is like built in a very modern yet traditional Katkuni style and it's got a beautiful indoor area which is great during the winters. You know, it's got a perfect balance of like stone and wood and uh, that too like pure Himalayan cedar, you know, you can really smell it in the air. So as the name suggests, these guys are masters at making pizzas. But Ronnie and I love coming here to eat something on one of their side menus which is the mutton lasagna. This is some food coma level shit guys, like seriously, I'm not joking. When you come here to eat this, you have to plan your day. Be empty stomach throughout the morning, come and pound this and then pass out for the rest of the day because you're not going to be making any sense. <laughs> they do a really good tiramisu and they do panna cotta as well, so it depends on the day you get here, what's in your luck. So today we're going to have the tiramisu. Yeah, Died and gone to heaven. <laughs> okay guys, so good morning. We, uh, it is day two. Uh, we're gonna start off by a place called uh, the Tibetan Punsop Cafe. It is located right next to uh, the Vashisht petrol pump, right uh, just five minutes away from the town. And a very small, unassuming place, you know, run by... It's a very like a mom and pop sort of a place, you know, one uncle auntie runs this uh, place just by themselves. So we're gonna kick off today with some yummy mutton momos that have been wrapped in an atta patti instead of the maida one. Then we have a bowl of mutton thupa and auntie really loads it up with veggies and stuff so it gives you like a really nice uh, feeling of having a wholesome healthy meal. And uh, something which is on her side menu is a raw tea which is basically, I'm sorry I'm drooling, <laughs> which is basically a potato pancake that you can get with different stuffings. 
uh, yeah, this is how we're gonna start off today. So let's dig in. I think this is the best tupa. Like I've had, you have tupas all around in restaurants and stuff, but this is like a very home cooked kind of a feeling, you know. And same goes with the momos. Can't go wrong with this. So diagonally opposite Phunsok is another hole in the wall place called uh, Kyaru House. These guys actually opened up uh, during the pandemic. Okay, so something that we order every time we come here is the chili mutton momo. And this plate of food is like super duper spicy, so be warned. <laughs> the next thing that we always order is the dry chicken hentuk. Hentuk is basically like a flat noodle soup, a Tibetan flat noodle soup, and this is the dry version of it. I think this is his own recipe, but I'm not sure. And he's also added a few new dishes, which we're going to be trying the egg lapping for the first time, so that should be quite interesting. Oh my god, the spice kicks in a little later. But that's really good, Bhati. That's really, really good. So before heading to Old Manali, we definitely had to make a pit stop at the very famous Johnson's Cafe. Like, no trip to Manali is complete without having at least one meal out here. So they are actually known, they specialize in trout dishes, you know, like Conti style, Indian style, but it's like the best. And she also does really nice pizzas and just like uh, continental food, like the chicken Kiev and all is like, ah, oh, the butter, oh, so good. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm straying too much. Since Ronnie and I have eaten two lunches back to back already, we're going to top it up with some delicious, look at this, look at this, the chocolate muffin cake, that dessert that they do. Like it's so good, I want to put my face in it right now. Like it's so yummy and like even all the people at the other tables were like, Ye kya manga hai aapne? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, I love the hot and cold, hot and cold. Right? And the crunch from the walnuts from and the, the walnuts. gooey. So Johnson's also has a little shop uh, in their premises where they sell uh, artwork by our friend Drove, like a really talented friend Drove, uh, and a couple other knickknacks and stuff. And then they also have products by our friend uh, Veer, his new company called Big Bear Farms, where they basically make a lot of farm to table products. So you have like various jams and jellies and marmalade and salted caramel and hot sauce and pickles. And yeah, basically you can buy this stuff online. Or if you are in Manali, you can pop into this shop and get Get yourself some yummy goodness. Okay, so now we are in Old Manali, and uh, I'll be honest over here, Badi and I don't really know many places over here. Um, also, you know, places keep opening and shutting uh, very fast over here in Old Manali. Uh, but this one place that we usually come to, like really high up at the end of Old Manali, just ask anybody, Rocky's Cafe. Man, it's got this beautiful, beautiful view. Uh, you know, a lot of outdoor seating, and uh, you even get served alcohol over here. And uh, just generally, man, the vibe of the place is like really open. Like most of the cafes in Manali, and you know, they're all very uh, warm and cozy. But this is one place where you can come for like an early morning coffee because the sunrise from here is like really beautiful. And uh, yeah, a lot of my friends come over here, you know, for sandwiches, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so now we've come down to this place called Renaissance Cafe. These guys basically specialize in Mexican food and Italian food. Ronnie and I come here whenever we're craving nachos. These guys make homemade nachos, homemade uh, tortillas and everything has like a gluten-free and a vegan option. So for all you vegan gluten-free people, like this is the place, this is your Mecca. And uh, just look, I love the way he's decorated the place because it's like maximalist to the max. Like. <laughs> So we are now at The Shed, the biggest party place in Old Manali and also our favorite place to go to in Old Manali. Uh, you know, I made an entire vlog about it, so you can check that out over here. Ta -da -da -da! <laughs> check these out guys, aren't these really, really cool? Uh, super awesome friend Rove, whose artwork we just showed you earlier, Johnson's, has made these beautiful t-shirts with our lovely faces on them. <laughs> and right now they're available exclusively at the shed. We're trying to figure out the online scene, but we'll keep you posted on that. But if you are in Manali, do drop by the shed and get yourself one of these bad boys. So when it comes to coffee shops, uh, Ul Manali has a lot of options, like Dylan's being definitely one of the most famous ones. But a couple of months back, one of our friend Mingma opened up a coffee shop right across the shed called Mingma's Coffee Shop and Cafe. And he does the most yummiest coffees and teas and sandwiches and burgers. I think it's a great spot for you to come and have a nice lazy brunch, sit outside uh, on the veranda and people watch. Cause like, this is like quite a busy street. 
So it's a great place to just like uh, sit back, relax and like enjoy the view. <laughs> Uh, this is our last stop in Old Manali this evening, which is called Come a Napoli, which means like in Naples. So these guys make OG Italian pizzas with like sourdough base and everything, and uh, they take a lot of pride in uh, constructing these authentic Italian pizzas. I think the only way we're going to find out how authentic it is is if we go to Italy. <laughs> but for Manali, this is the bomb. So right now we're going to be having a pizza which is one of their specialities which is the burrata pesto pizza. Burrata is a kind of mozzarella which once you cut into it it's supposed to ooze out onto your pizza and uh, let's just do it. I'm going to stop talking. Look, so good. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know the word but mm -mm. Mamma mia Mamma mia <laughs> It's just so flavorful that you don't even need to add any like extra herbs or paprika on it It's just perfect the way it is The fun in eating this pizza is over here Right out of the oven I mean you can get it home delivered but Wo maza nahi hai Okay, so here we are at our final restaurant called Martin's and uh, it's a very popular place amongst the locals and it's located about 20 minutes from the main town in a village called Shinar. Uh, it's an alfresco dining place, you know, huge uh, long tables, you know, beautiful uh, gardens and uh, you know, it's a very good family place I feel because uh, there's a lot of area for kids to play in as well. But Sunday afternoons usually we spend out here drinking beer and eating chicken. So the signature dish at Martin's is their roast chicken. You got to pre-order this a day or two before you come here. Uh, and in case you do forget by some chance to <laughs> pre-order this, you can order a bunch of stuff that is also available like their wood fire oven pizzas, the chicken snitch, schnitzel, schnitzel, yes, the fish and chips and uh, the summer garden salad. All of them are really, really yummy. Okay, so those were some of the places that Bharti and I, you know, regularly hang out at. And uh, there's so many more places, you know, that keep popping up and uh, so many places that we actually haven't tried yet. So if you guys have uh, any of your favorite places and dishes, uh, please mention them in the comment section below because uh, this one is for the community. So that's it for today and until the next one, Masteji.